Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colette Boyd. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Happening tonight, the Midland Planning Commission meeting expected to vote on a new proposal for a welcome center for the Dow Gardens. The center would be nearly 22,000 square feet and include a gift shop, exhibit space, a cafe area, and event spaces. The project also includes plans to expand the parking lot, adding 96 spaces. The meeting will be in Midland's council chambers. That starts at 7. Well, if you are in Midland today, you may see more police than usual. State police are holding a mass casualty training exercise at the county fairgrounds. The training started this morning at 7. It includes various teams from throughout the department, including aviation. It's expected to be over by 4 this afternoon. Nice. Look at that. It's a first look at the renovations at the former Saginaw High School. The building is officially the new Saginaw Middle School. Parents, students and teachers got to see the updates up close and personal on Monday. Changes include bigger classrooms and new sports equipment. The second phase of renovations will include upgrades to the auditorium, gym and media center. Now here's Diane with your first alert forecast. We all have been enjoying the nice weather, but we do finally have a few rain chances that are coming in. They're not very big. You'll find a pair of 20% chances for today and tomorrow. Neither day going to be a total wash, but we will find that we at least have some rain to talk about. We will find that those isolated chances finally drop as we go into Thursday, and then we will be finding as we go into Friday that we do still have those shower chances. I know we have high school football on Friday, so of course we'll be keeping a close eye to that. That forecast the hour by hour showing us that we do have just some higher level clouds coming in. Still keep your sunglasses around. We will have those conditions that are still dry here for the evening commute. But then as we go in towards bedtime talking 9 10 11 o'clock, that's when we are going to start to see some of these rain showers come in. They won't have a lot of rain with them, but any raindrops that we can pick up, we will take them. But then we'll have a little bit of a break towards the bus stop in the morning commute before a cold front sets up typically those fronts carry some rainfall with them, but this one just doesn't have a lot of moisture associated with it. And once it passes on by, it's going to kick on the lake effect. We will find lake effect rain showers to be scattered as we go through the second half of tomorrow. Now with the cold front coming in, that's clearly going to play with temperature. So today is kind of that last mild day of this October warm spell that we've been enjoying. As we go into the morning, we'll kind of bottom out into the mid to upper 50s. We rebound just getting into the lower 60s, but as that front is starting to move in. We're going to find that the afternoon is going to be feeling more like the 50s. So be prepared for that feeling as you get dressed and ready to go tomorrow. Then we actually cool things out quite a bit with a freezing night ahead going into the overnight. Now the next seven days it is going to be some furnace weather with those overnight lows in the 30s and 40s. But even afternoon temperatures are more seasonal being into the mid 50s. A couple of 60s still sprinkled in there with those isolated rain chances. We look forward to a little more sunshine shine on Thursday, another rain chance on Friday, but so far the weekend is holding to be a nice one. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 seven for the latest news, weather and information.